You know what? We fully identify with Christ. Church, Robert has no other identity that is worth what, what the why, but the identity of Christ. Christ is my identity. And do you know how I came to take on his identity? You know that his identity enhances me, embellishes everything about me. His, his identity is what gives me the boldness to qualify for anything where ordinarily I would have been disqualified. So how did I, how did Christ become my identity? Because according to the Bible, it says, if I be planted in the likeness of his death, I shall also manifest in the likeness of his resurrection. What identity does Robert have today? What identity do you have today? You have the identity of the resurrected Lord Jesus. As he is now, so are we now in this world. He's my identity. So tonight we say we are dressed, we are adorned with the glory of Christ. Tonight, by faith and in all humility, we receive of his honor. We receive of his praise. We receive of his favor. We receive of his might, power. We receive of his dominion. Possess it. Deliberate it. I possess Christ. I possess his glory. I possess his perfection. I possess his excellency. I possess his beauty. I possess every loveliness about Christ. That becomes my adornment. That's what I'm adorned with. Nobody will ever see me or see my flesh. I dare, I declare, nobody will ever be able to see the frailty of my flesh. Flesh. All that men shall see, all that the world shall see concerning me are the perfections, the excellencies, and the beauties of Christ. In, the, in fact, listen to me, church, all of you. You are going to be so amazed at the manifestations that will follow you. The kind of doors that will open unto you. The kind of opportunities that will come to you. The kind of people that will approve of you. Not because of you. Your ugliness, the ugliness of your humanity is engulfed by the beauties of Christ. Because tonight we are deliberately receiving unto ourselves Listen, just imagine how you dress up in the morning. Eh? Just imagine. Let's say you are okay. Let's say you're going for or you're going to an event. And it's a high profile event. Let's just let's use the women as an example. Because you are more elaborate dressers. So the woman before that day, she probably is trying to, you know conjure or imagine what she's going to wear as far as the, the, the dressing, the jewelry, the makeup, the shoes, the bag. So you think it up. It, it, you don't just run into your wardrobe and pick anything. You like to coordinate everything so that when you step out, you want to be sure that you look good. Church, the way we do it physically, let us spend time to dress up with Christ. Galatians. Let me share the scripture with you. Galatians chapter yes, 2, uh, verse 27. Galatians chapter 2, verse 27. Okay. For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Hallelujah. You yes. know, you know, <laughs> listen to my expression, church, and it's just the Holy Spirit. Give him these expressions. Identifying with Christ. My understanding of that is just simply, I'm taking on the identity of Christ. I refuse to continue with my own identity. I, I agree. My identity has been crucified on the cross with Christ Jesus. The old man is crucified with him. The body of sin destroyed with him. The yoke of enslavement broken off. Right now, as I was planted in the likeness of Jesus, so am I manifesting in the light in the as I was planted in the likeness of the death of Jesus, so am I manifesting in the likeness of his resurrection. So it's saying here, uh, and how did all this happen? It says it starts by me being baptized into Christ, 
How? By baptism into his death. So when I'm, it starts, my whole identification with Christ starts with my baptism into his death. That is how my identification with Christ starts. And then it says, by baptism into his death, I am buried with him. Can you see how I am, I am engrafted into Christ? It's all legitimate, it's judicial, it is legal, and it is, you know, perfectly acceptable in the eyes of God. I am very blessed that Christ who was baptized, who was, who was crucified, and who was buried, that same Christ rose again from the dead. And that is why I am manifesting in the likeness of his resurrection. And that's why I can take on his full identity. So like I'm saying, the woman who is going for a proper high-profile event, she takes time to think out and, and, and just, you know, she puts together in her mind what she wants to wear. And she puts it on and sets out. I am saying the same thing. Let us intentionally put on Christ, not just his beauties, not just his loveliness, put on his strength, put on his wisdom, put on his glory, put on his armor. Listen to me. I've told us the world out there is so, so, so charged up, spiritually charged up. There's so much evil out there. You have said it. There is no demilitarized zone in the world today. Therefore, you need to be well clothed with the identity of Jesus, because that is the winning identity. That's the identity that overcomes the entire world in and out of season. And so when you put on his identity, you put on his strength, you put on his wisdom, you put on his righteousness. Hey, no weapon fashioned against you can prosper. No king can stand before you. No power, no dominion can withstand you because you are clothed with the supremacy of divinity.